So as many of you have seen with the My Forex One situation, it's definitely shaken a lot of people up and it's made them come to the realization that anything can happen. I've been saying this on my YouTube for a while. At Falcon, we've been telling our students this for a while that anything can happen. And the ultimate goal as a trader is to put yourself in a position where you have personal capital to a point in which you don't have to become reliant on these prop firms because again, anything can happen. The same things happen with lockdown. The same things happen with going into a cashless society. A lot of these things that people used to say used to be called silly for it or tinfoil hats or conspiracy theorists and they actually came to light. I know a lot of you are actually going to be pretty worried as to how you can secure yourself as a trader now and there's a lot of people jumping on this and giving you different forms of advice. I'm going to give you advice from my experience and also the experience I've learned from Mark and again everything just to clarify that we've said at Falcon has stood the test of time. We were saying this exact thing over and over again over the past 12 months and beyond. You can go back and check our YouTube videos, mine, Falcon's, even in-house webinars that we have quit your job effectively using very simple things that we've given you like golden numbers and like all these equations non-essentials essentials that it feels incredible when you've got all of these things organized like nothing will beat the feeling for you guys to aim for this 12 months of savings of your uh, your self-sufficiency or golden number whichever way you want to put it and then you've worked your way up into building a six-figure personal account so you know you've got 100k in fxcm or ig index i usually use these accounts for like testing accounts when i'm you know testing things out like afts and like i've done a lot of that but having those accounts there are essential so let's say you've got that savings you've got six figure personal capital and you've also got prop firms and they can be with our in-house fund and you might still have a few others right but you're scaling up on that if you did it hit an unfortunate sequence of losses, of course, you got the bespokeness with us. So you already have a competitive advantage. But let's say, for example, you were just reckless and you lost it and you had to start at a certain level again is what it is. Or you lost your other account. You know, you're in a position where you've got a year's worth of savings. You're not under pressure. And it's kind of un there's good pressure and there's unnecessary pressure. Right. You've not upgraded your lifestyle too quickly, right, because you're you're being smart with it and you want to build the experience we've spoken about this many many times so everything that we've said has come from experience and it stood the test of time so i do consider you start to trust what we say so your number one method of security before anything is knowledge you want to make sure that the source of your knowledge is strong some of you might already have a system that you've mastered or you're coming to a point of mastery with that strategy where you're profitable it's sustainable it works and there's nothing really wrong with the particular strategy it's robust. If you've already come to that step, master it. Don't quit and master one strategy. I'm not gonna ask you to system hop like most people would. I would say stick to that strategy and master it. It'd be very foolish of you to just switch system unnecessarily if you're trading a robust system that works. But if you're not in that position, you need to source a robust system that works, is sustainable and has stood the test of time. And remember in trading, when we're talking about knowledge, mentorship is required. You can't just learn how to trade from a course, a stagnant stationary course, a four week program you need mentorship mentorship is super super crucial and true mentorship it people don't even know what that is true mentorship is making sure and ensuring that you're learning off somebody who has personal wealth who has financial literacy who has assets knows what they're talking about from that regard they've got life experience and you also want to make sure it's somebody that you can actually meet or you have the ability to meet even somebody that you can speak to privately face to face now of course when it comes to mentorship obviously i'm going to recommend you guys come to falcon if you're not already in a position like i mentioned where you're already profitable you've got a robust system you know you don't necessarily need to learn a new strategy that's fine but if you're not in that position and you want proper mentorship of course i'm going to recommend you to falcon every single thing we've built is literally at the epitome of a strong foundation so the second method of security that you have to have as a trader and it's so important i can't stress this and this is in no order by the way is psychological preservation you have to understand that that essentially means that you have a strong mental framework built for trading psychological preservation is so important because if you can't preserve the correct state of mind required in moments of pressure you can't preserve your capital so you need to make sure that psychological preservation is of utmost importance to you and that only happens through working on your mindset and the best way to do this is ensuring again that your education source or your knowledge source from how to build your mind correctly as a trader is coming from the right place you can read all these books you like, but books are books. They don't give you practical steps. You need actual material, actual course, actual mentorship for this. I hate to say it, but it's the truth. And as much as you might deny it, it's the reality. You have to invest into these things. Don't start trading if you can't afford to trade in the first place. This is why I recommend you guys get a job, get some sort of income coming in where you can actually have the money to invest into these things when push comes to shove, because you'll have to. You're literally in a game of money. 
How can you not invest into yourself as a trader and expect to just get things low of cost or free of charge in a game of money? You're in trading, you're a financial trader. So remember, when you don't have the correct mental framework, you can't have psychological preservation as a skill or as a trait. If you can't have that, you can't even preserve any capital you attain anyway. So of course, the final part of this when it comes to security as a trader is attaining capital. Now, of course, you guys are used to the prop firm route, but there's also the private investor capital route. There's a very simple way to source investors. It does take time and it is a bit of a hit and miss, but once you land an investor and you set up the agreement correctly, you're on your way. If you're based in the UK, you can go to PIN meetings, so that's property investment networking meetings. Even anywhere in the world, any networking events where there's property investors, investors as a whole, nowadays you don't know who's got how much money. And you should never judge anyone. Likely the people that look like they've got the least money have the most money. And once you develop your skill set as a trader and you become more of an asset, which is the whole goal, you are becoming an asset yourself. You're the asset and remember that. These people can tell that based off your aura, how you carry yourself, your charisma, your confidence, your negotiation skills. When you know your stuff, it translates very well. So if you're based in the UK as well, you can usually set this up as a loan contract agreement. Now, again, this is not financial advice before I get flagged up, but that is one method of doing it. That's one method how I did it. Again, I'm not gonna talk on behalf of methods of sourcing capital that I've not tried myself, prop firms or private investor capital. It's the only two things I can advise you on. Now, when it comes to prop firms, I know a lot of you have got a bit of a negative taste in your mouth now. Let me just tell you one thing, because I'm talking on behalf of Falcon here. I'm a coach at Falcon, so I know how the operation works here. I know who I'm dealing with because I am part of Falcon myself. Our prop firm's KYC is completely different, okay? And I've not really come across anybody else that I'm aware of that does this or has this other than Falcon, so I may be incorrect, but as of my research and what I've seen, I think we're the only ones in the industry at the moment who have come from an education source as a, as a platform and have developed our own in-house prop firm. Now, there was another company that did this, but I don't think they really exist anymore. I'm sure you guys know who I'm talking about. But as of now, we are one of the only education companies that exist that train our traders and bespokely vet them so they can trade on our fund. So our KYC is different completely. We actually know who we're dealing with. Our traders know who they're dealing with. We have quarterly webinars with them. We have in-person meets, one coming up in Dubai in November. Actual in-person mastermind. So our KYC is completely different. And for that reason, us getting flagged up for anything like this, like my Forex funds has or any other companies, is little to no chance. And even if that was to happen, our legal structure is so solid. There's a reason again why it took us over two years to develop it. We didn't just sprout our prop firm out of nowhere. Most people just sprout out out of nowhere with these prop firms. This is why regulators are coming down. I think it's a brilliant thing. Most prop firms in US, Canada will get hit. Do you really think that the SEC or the governing board for finance when it comes to Canada is going to just leave my forex funds to it and not touch any of the prop firm in Canada or America. Of course they are. It's going to be a trickle down effect. Maybe not tomorrow or next week, but over time it will. So you want to make sure that the prop firm that you're actually attaining capital from is well secured. And there's actually a really simple way to look at that is the KYC, which ours is completely different. We're also setting up office in Dubai as well. So we're going to be outside of that jurisdiction completely at one point. Our virtual fund is coming into play. There's so many different things that Falcon Fund getting shut down ever doesn't exist. Does not exist in the slightest. You can save this video now if you like. So remember, we're training our students up personally, personally vetting them and then putting them onto the fund. We've actually turned our own students away at times from trading on the fund because we don't want them to mess things up unnecessarily and trade when they're not ready. That's what true mentorship's actually about. If we made money off assessment fees, like I said, it'd be open to the public, number one, and anybody could trade on it. We'd be pumping marketing ads and campaigns down your throat and we'd want as many traders on there as possible. But there's a reason why we privately vet them and there's a reason why we even turn people away because we don't make money of assessment fees. We want the best of the best trading in our fund. That's the ultimate goal. So when it comes to financial security, when it comes to security for the mind, security for your knowledge, we've got every single thing taken care of here. Falcon sorts out your trading education and your mentorship. Rewired sorts out your psychological education and also making sure that you're actually building the correct and required state of mind to trade. Not just becoming somebody who has more information about psychology of the mind. You're not training to become a psychologist. You're training to become a trader. That's the whole point we developed Rewired in the first place. And then finally, you've got our own in-house prop firm. That actually is legit and we don't scam people, like I said. So I'm actually glad that a lot of these regulators are coming down and clamping on on these things because it's going to push out the people who don't deserve to be in the position of opening these prop firms because they don't actually have any financial literacy. They don't have any financial background and they're not even qualified to open a prop firm in the first place. Their KYC is terrible and their entire structure is simply made up in a way so that they pocket the money and they can run away one day. Now, I'm not saying all prop firms are like this, but I'm saying there are a lot out there that are structured like that. And there's a lot of people dressed up in sheep's clothing that are actually wolves. So you've got to watch out.